politics in the past was either less acrimonious or more fact-based. I mean, people, conspiracy theories have been around forever. People would said that we faked the moon landing decades ago, and you had really nasty ad hominem politics between Thomas Jefferson and John Adams over 200 years ago. So I think that, to some extent, this is, this is a fact of democracy, not specifically a fact of, of our new and modern democracy, and we've muddled through it in the past. But I do think there's something about the democratization of media and the fact that information spreads at just the most rapid rate it ever has in history. And sometimes siloed, which and Obama mm -hmm. talked about last Siloed. Night. That's what I thought was very interesting, is if you even compare to when President Obama was in office, he was kind of the first social media president, um, but how much more we have now, the number of platforms, the people who are getting their news, not from any traditional sources and from, you know, very opinion-based, whether on the right or the left, it unquestionably has an impact on the elections. Uh, I want to ask, he was asked about, Obama was asked about this visit from the Prime Minister of India, and well, Christian asked, should he be engaging with certain leaders, essentially, I'm paraphrasing, and Obama said even he has had to engage when he was president with leaders that privately, you know, he might have had a different conversation. Talk to me about the tension between the strategic uh, necessity of some of these relationships and perhaps uh, the political tension that creates. So I'm actually fundamentally on the side that the president absolutely should have met with... Uh